Hello, my friends. It's good to see you again, you Trihills Tigers. We're continuing with Shark Week. I have read two stories that are fiction and silly stories. The next one I have to share is Sharks by Gail Gibbons. It's a pretty long picture book. I think it's got some interesting facts and nonfiction topics for everybody, as you can see. So I will start and share some knowledge with you. Sharks written and illustrated in full color by Gail Gibbons. Sharks first lived more than 400 million years ago, 200 million years before dinosaurs walked the earth. From the dwarf shark to the great white shark, here's information on the physical characteristics of these animals, how they differ from other fish, how they're born, some hatch from eggs while others are born alive, and how they survive in their environment. Their role in ocean life and how their survival is threatened is also discussed. So we will begin. Headway. Oh, sneaking headway. Sharks. You can see some good looking ones here. Sharks live in oceans. They are fish. There are about 350 different kinds of sharks. Hmm. What's more than I knew? Different kinds of sharks. Wow. There are small sharks, big sharks, and huge sharks. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. This is Carcharodon megalodon. Carcharodon megalodon was about 43 feet long. Carcharodon means rough tooth. Megalodon means giant tooth. It had very sharp teeth about 8 inches long. The first sharks lived more than 400 million years ago, 200 million years before dinosaurs walked the earth. Most of them were only about 3 feet long. Later sharks grew to be bigger. Some were enormous. One of them was Carcharodon megalodon. Sharks are not like other fish. Fish have smooth scales. Sharks' bodies are covered with scales called denticles that have sharp little teeth in them. Most fish skeletons are made of bone. Shark skeletons are not made of bone, but of a softer elastic material called cartilage. So we have a shark diagram here. There's your denticles. Um, the shark, the pectoral fins balance and lift the shark. Here's the pelvic fins. We have the dorsal fin, that's what people see above the waterline sometimes, and the caudal fin pushes the shark forward when it's moved back and forth. That's how it propels itself. Ah, sharks breathe by drawing water into their mouths as they swim. When the water passes the gills, it touches small blood vessels. These blood vessels take the oxygen from the water to keep the sharks alive. Unlike other fish, most sharks must keep moving to make the water flow over their gills. You can see it going over here. Sharks have five, six, or seven gill openings on each side. Other fish usually have one gill opening on each side. Sharks have sharp senses that work together. They have inner ears. Their ears are tubes running under their skin to their skulls. They can hear distant sounds, even a heartbeat. On the sides of their bodies are small holes called lateral line organs. They're sensitive to movement in the water and can help guide the shark to what is moving. I see the lateral line organs. I see it on the hammerhead shark. Sharks can use electricity to hunt too. All living creatures in the water give off small electrical signals. Sharks have tiny holes in their faces called ampullae. They pick up the signal that guides the shark in the right direction. Sharks also have very good sense of smell. They can tell the direction a smell is coming from sometimes a mile away. I see that up there. There's the ampullae in the front of his face. Sharks' eyes are sensitive to light. They can see things underwater where light is often dim. They have a lot of sharp senses here. Ooh. Sharks do not use their teeth for chewing. They use their teeth to tear, bite, and crush food. Most sharks have more than four rows of teeth. Their front teeth do all the work. When a shark loses a tooth, it will soon be replaced by a new one. New teeth move up from the second row, I see, right over there. They replace worn out or missing teeth in the front row. The teeth in the third and fourth rows move forward too. Different sharks have different have teeth that are different shapes and sizes. So over here you see a bull, tar bull shark's tooth, tiger shark tooth, the mako shark tooth, and the great white shark tooth. Maybe you've seen these on shorelines. Sometimes they wash up in the tide. Shark. Babies are born two ways. Some sharks lay tough, thorny-cased eggs 
on or near the bottom of the ocean. It takes a few weeks before the baby sharks chew their way out of the egg cases and swim away. Other sharks develop from eggs inside their mother's body. Usually it takes a year before these babies are born alive. Shark babies can care for themselves from the minute they're born. They are called pups. Well, I know I've seen these empty on the coast, on the shore. Now I know what they are, egg cases. Most sharks are not dangerous. Of the 350 kinds of sharks, only about 30 species have been known to attack people. This rarely happens. When it does, it's usually because the shark has mistaken the movement of a person for the movement of a fish or something else it is hunting. The smallest shark is the dwarf shark. It's only six inches long. Sharks are different shapes and sizes. Bull sharks are about 10 feet long. They're fierce and aggressive. They've been known to attack people who are swimming. Well, sharks are the only kind of shark that can live in fresh water. On rare occasions, they're spotted swimming in rivers. Blue sharks usually live in deep waters. They migrate thousands of miles to have their babies and search for new food. Mako sharks can be up to 11 feet long and can swim as fast as 43 miles an hour. They can be dangerous. Tiger sharks can grow up to 17 feet long. They're often found in shallow water. Tiger sharks eat fish, seabirds, crabs, turtles, and even smaller sharks. They're one of the most dangerous sharks. So watch out for those tiger sharks. The thresher shark can be up to 20 feet long. It has a very long, powerful tail. It eats small fish and usually doesn't bother people. Nurse sharks often hide in underwater caves and reefs for long periods of time. They have strong, blunt teeth. They can eat fish, shrimp, lobster, sea urchins, and crabs. So that's why they need those kinds of teeth. Hammerhead sharks can be almost 20 feet long and are strange looking. Their heads are flat and shaped like a double-headed hammer. They eat fish, squid, crabs, and stingrays. Hammerhead sharks live in shallow, warm water and have been known to attack people. Ooh, great white sharks are famous for being the most dangerous and fiercest members of the shark family. They will eat large fish and other sharks and even whales. Wow. It has very strong jaws and hundreds of teeth, sometimes three inches long. Each tooth has a sharp, jagged edge like a saw blade. Wow. The basking shark is very large and can grow to about 35 feet long. It is slow moving and generally harmless. It eats small animals and plant life called plankton. The basking shark loves to swim near the surface of the water, sometimes in large groups. That would be neat to see. I bet the surface is where it finds its plankton. The whale shark is the biggest fish that ever existed. It can be up to 60 feet long and weigh up to 15 tons. Although it is very strong and powerful, it eats only plankton and small fish. The whale shark never attacks people or even large fish. It swims slowly and lazily, usually just below the surface of the water. Again, going after the plankton. For many years, sharks have, had, have been fished and hunted by people. Before sandpaper was invented, people used shark skin to smooth and polish wood. Indians used sharp hard shark teeth for arrowheads. Others use shark teeth for jewelry. I see the arrowheads, I see the jewelry. Today in some places, shark skin is used to make shoes, purses, and belts. Also, shark meat is used for food. There's sport fishing too. Some species have been fished and hunted to the point where there is concern about their survival. Not good. Sharks play an important role, like all other ocean life. It's good to protect these mysterious and marvelous creatures and the sea in which they live. Scientists and people can learn a lot from studying sharks. To know about sharks is to admire and respect them. Ah, oh, there's more shark facts. The, world shark, the whale shark lays the world's biggest egg. It's about 12 inches long. That's a foot. The whale shark has skin thicker than any other creature. It is up to 8 inches thick. Wow. Scientists have learned that sharks do, don't get cancer. Studying sharks might help in the fight against cancer. A person is more likely to be killed by lightning or a bee sting than by a shark. Important. If you see a shark when you're swimming, swim slowly away from the shark toward the shore or a boat. 
Remain calm. Don't shout or splash. Remember, you're in the shark's world. Don't swim toward the shark. The chances are the shark isn't interested in you and will swim away. If you're around other people when you reach the shore or boat, tell someone in authority what you saw so other swimmers can be notified. And that is our shark nonfiction story. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're doing well, and I hope to see you soon, my friends. Take good care.